the first comment will let you know because it's going to be kind of slick and it's going to be kind of positive because the, the vagina, the moistness is just like bubbling out and they're like, oh, no, no. What's up, Internet? Today, we're going to talk about trolls and how to handle trolls and my matriculation through the process of dealing with trolls and where I'm at today. This is Glendon Cameron, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu. If you want to learn how to start a business, if you want to learn about hustling, and if you want to learn about generational wealth, be sure to subscribe and give me your phone number so you can get some of those crispy deals. Let's talk about trolls. As you know, I'm making a lot of moves that naturally brings the trolls out. If you are suspicious or you have doubts, you can ask a normal question. That's not a problem. I have no problem with that. It's just questions are rooted in hate, low-key hating. Let's just say you're not where you want to be in life. And instead of being humble and saying, look, I'm not where I need. Maybe I can learn something from this guy. Maybe I can't. It comes with the low-key hate and the words such as fraud or all scam, all this other stuff that the weak-minded use. I used to be like, you know, ignore them, they'll go away. And what I've discovered is that's not necessarily true. I'm gonna give you a few examples of what I talk about and how this stuff goes down. I had Ann, I had Tanya, I had a few people who bought my courses, came into the comment section, and they were like, these, these are great. And the trolls, I mean, they just jumped all over them to the point they deleted the comment. The thing is the trolls are fake news. There is a lot of fake news online. There's a lot of fake news in terms of hustler porn that people are saying they're living like they are not living. And you got that going on. But the thing is, when there's something legit, there is even more suspicion than when there's something that is full of hustler porn. What I've come to understand is that trolls need to be handled. And this is the way that I handle it. And a lot of people don't like it because what I do is I sick the hustler kung fu tribe on these people. Uh, there's a situation where someone said something that was slick, proved to be wrong, and I challenged his manhood, well, his moisthood, his vagina, and he hasn't said anything. And that, to me, is the best way to handle these trolls because, let me tell you, just ignoring them, they do not go away. Here's the thing. Let's say you're growing, right? And you're you're putting out stuff, you're doing stuff. The more that you do, the more that they come. So they don't go away. Now, downgrade your hustle. That's kind of what I did. You know, it's like, I'm not going to talk to them. I'm going to lay low. I created less content. I created less videos because I didn't want all of that negative attention. Bring it. Not only will I get you, but the Hustler Kung Fu Tribe will get you. And that creates a whole different paradigm shift. There's a lot of folks who benefit from the channel. There's a lot of folks who love the content. They like the stuff. They're benefiting. They're making money. The trolls are not trying to have that. It, it, it's sad because there are some people who would put more energy into tearing something down than building themselves up. I mean, it, it's just ridiculous, but it is what it is. And you must handle these things accordingly because once again trolls are fake news and they create fake narratives there's so many people who wanted to do something online wanted to put something out and the trolls came and stopped them and here's something else there's several different kinds of trolls there is the overt slick comment nasty comment those are easy to spot and then there's what i call the low-key hater they'll have something positive and they'll come something with something slick these are guys raised by women and they have this very passive aggressive nature about themselves because this is what they saw their mother do with the dudes that she was dealing and since there was no man in their life to re lead them the right way they often act very moist very vagina laced because that's what they were raised and they became vagina based men for the lack of it the first comment will let you know because it's going to be kind of slick and it's going to be kind of positive because the the vagina the moistness is just like bubbling out and they're like oh no no Arr, no 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 we don't want them to know yet we don't want them to know and then i'll put up a video and then the moistness will come out and it'll just be like splash all over the page. And I'm just like, really? And I, I'm gonna say this to you. If you're with the Hustlers Kung Fu Tribe, great. If you're not and you think that me spanking or 
talking junk about trolls is unbecoming, I ask you to unsubscribe. Yep, I ask you to unsubscribe to move on because it's going to intensify. The things that I am getting ready to do are going to bring more trolls out. They're going to come out. The knuckles are going to be dragging. They also form groups. Like I'll give you an example. You take a troll and the, dro and the troll is the troll leader. The troll leader will be very aggressive with their trolling. They will create a situation or create a post to draw weaker trolls and they're, they're like the zombies from The Walking Dead. By themselves, they ain't really nothing. But when you get them together, it, it just turns into an internet pile on. It becomes like really crazy. It becomes like amazingly predictable. So when they start that stuff, uh, I'll give you my social media policy. I will engage with a troll if I'm in a really good mood and I feel that I can have some fun with that. But typically the policy is to observe the behavior and once I see that you are a vagina based troll or very moist, I'm just gonna block you and I'm not even gonna say anything. To you. And then sometimes I will make an example of a troll, which I did the other night, which a lot of people didn't like. And it's like, why are you wasting time on this? And I'm gonna tell you, people are committing suicide online because of trolls and haters. Now, I'm not going to kill myself. I love myself. I have been there and I almost gave up YouTube because of trolls. It was around 2012-ish. I was making a lot of money. I had a lot of money in the bank. And I was like, man, I can, I can just move on. I can leave YouTube alone, right? And I, I had a serious talk with myself for about a week because I was just not making a lot of videos. My partner had just died and I was just like, hey, we can, we can do this without YouTube. I don't make important decisions when I'm feeling some kind of way. I'm caught up in my feelings. I'm being very emotional. I don't make decisions. I don't make hard term or hard decisions. I may make a preliminary decision, but I will not act on it and I will not do anything. And as the week went on, I was like, are you crazy? You put videos on a YouTube channel that got people to buy your book and you are tripping out because a few weak, unsuccessful people and all of those people who were doing those hangouts, who were talking smack about me, they're gone. Every last one of them. And I'm like, wow. So you almost let these suckers take you out. And I got mad at myself. I was like, to get a grip. So I began to make more videos. I started to, to go after them. I got channels deleted, I got videos taken down, all was well in the village. Now you can have your own social media policy, but I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. If depending upon who is in your sphere, uh, who is part of your network, meaning that if you're really small, you're not going to get a lot of trolls unless you do something crazy, but as you get bigger and bigger and bigger, you're going to get trolls, you're going to get haters, you're going to get doubters. You're just going to get some people with a really nasty attitude. And that is just the lay of the land. That's just that's just how it goes here on YouTube. And you have to make a decision because one of the things, and there's a friend of mine who I think would have been a great YouTube personality. And she was just like, no, those folks are nasty. I cannot deal with that. I've let people see most of my life. And I did not. I, I used to do all my videos on a white wall. So y'all couldn't really see what I was doing, how I was living. And, you know, it was cool. I did most of my videos on that white background for years. Then I was like, okay, I need to sexy it up. Then I need to add more. I hired my first person that was local, not a VA. I don't even count VAs because VAs, there's communication gaps. There's there's all kinds of stuff. I know people go like, yeah, I love my VAs. Hire. It, it, it's, it's sometimes Valencia and I or Patty and I or Tammy or Blue, we'll just have a conversation face to face. And you just cannot get that online most times unless you're dealing with someone who is very internet savvy. They're really internet savvy. They could probably do that and more. One of the things I did was I took people on a tour of my office and you can see the changes, you can see the upgrades of furniture and stuff because one of the things that is very true that most people are not trying to get an office, let alone two, let alone hiring people and putting it all out there. 
uh, I got one of those uh, crazy it, the dude's name was your stuff is whack that was his username so I already knew he was nothing but trouble so I just deleted him because he was just looking for a rise but I share more of my life showing you my house like this you know this is the new company vehicle this is I, I haven't named him I'm thinking door two I don't know but this vehicle I paid cash for it and I put it in the company name because we had too much cash in the company and I want to end the year making no money so I had to blow some money on something and I blew it on the BMW X uh, M5 it's not an X5 but it's an M5 and I'm showing you this and I'm telling you this because one of the things that you have to do if you are an internet marketer or someone that's putting stuff out on the internet you have to shape your narrative you have to create your own narrative and what I was doing when I did those videos against the whiteboard I was allowing other people to shape the narrative and I had a lot of people who were saying hey man I love your free information I'm not gonna pay you actually putting that in the comments and I realized that because I wasn't fighting back I created that narrative I created that situation that allowed that to go down I did that and I was like whoa so now you know you see a little bit more about the house you see a little bit more about the employees Patty was hired because Patty does not want to be on camera so that's our deal I'm not gonna put Patty on camera but everyone else that I hire you will see on camera because that helps combat the trolls because I can say hey I'm doing all this stuff all day long right but when I show you when I put it out there when you see Valencia and Belinda eh, Belinda will probably do a video uh, you see the people who work for me you see the offices you know it, it's like yeah troll and one of the things too because I fight the trolls a lot of you and I really appreciate you a lot of you defend me more because Let's truth be told, some of you who really like me still have doubts, still are not convinced of the G verse, still not convinced of the hustler camp, which is cool. It's because the thing is, you're being respectful about it. I don't have no problem with that. You know, you're asking questions, you're like, eh, I'm not gonna buy that because I don't know. That's cool because it's incumbent upon me to do a better job of communicating with you what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, versus um just laying there back in the cut and hoping you get it. I like give good example. Now for the folks in Hustlers Kung Fu, because I'm gonna have to do a special video for them on how to get their shirts because I laid it out, but a lot of people don't watch the videos. So I gotta do a special video saying this is how you're gonna get your shirt, this is how we're gonna do this, and you'll be good. Because as much as I know, I don't know everything and I still have to learn, but you have to communicate really really clearly to the people who are buying your products because I think there's like 60 70 people in Hustlers Kung Fu I think and one of the reasons that I'm not trying to grow really quickly is there's a lot of problems there's issues and they're not like crazy issues but there's communication issues which is why I want you to give me your number because I'm getting rid of MailChimp email list and there's some folks that's like, I'm never giving you my number. I don't want you to have my number. And if you don't send me an email, but well, we just are not gonna communicate anymore. And you know what, that's fair. That's fair, that's real. And we will not be communicating anymore because I'm going with this phone messaging thing because number one, there are no spam filters in your message box, not yet. Probably three, four years, or there's probably an app that can do it now, but there is just not a lot that's going on with that. And I can do, essentially, I could have a list that is five times as small and five times more effective because people get the message. So that, that's going down, that, that's what we're gonna do. So just, just be aware. And also, there's gonna be so much more content coming. And that, that's why I'm getting ahead of the troll situation and smacking folks down and spanking folks and getting really disrespectful people. The more that I do, the more that I grow, the more that I put out there, the more that they hate because it's sad because they're not doing what they want to do in life. They're not where they want to be in life. And many of my trolls and haters think they're smarter than me, but there is no evidence to that. It's just like they are a celebrity 
and they're famous in their own mind. But there's no there's no substance. There is no there's no YouTube channel. There's no books on Amazon. There's no online courses. There's no there ain't nothing. But they think in their heart of hearts they are smarter than me, and therefore it is easy for them to say he's a fraud. And that's the way they go. And I'm, I'm telling you this because I know some of you are not gonna like this, but I, I guarantee you. The trolling is about to go to the NIF level. Because remember, I live in an apartment. Remember, I drive for Uber. It is it is a populated search term, blending camera and Uber. That's how many folks- Drives for Uber, that's right, he drives for Uber. He ain't no real G, no, he drives for Uber. As if there's something wrong with driving for Uber, but no, I don't drive for Uber. Matter of fact, my Uber credentials expired because uh, I didn't renew them. But just a little conversation with the folks to let you know what's going on, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. All right, so for those of you who want to win a t-shirt, and the t-shirt designs are going to be hot, 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 give me your phone number on the messaging service. The link is below the video. Do not put your phone number in the comments, okay? I don't know how many times I can say, there's a little link below the YouTube video, not in the comments, hit that link, then a window opens up and you can put your name and your phone number and all that stuff in there. You do that and then it's gonna send you a message saying, hey, do you accept being put on this list? And you go reply, yes. And then all is well in the world and all is good. And then the next thing you need to do is subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And then the next thing you need to do is leave a very intelligent, well thought out, you know, comment. Do that and all will be in the well, all, all will be well in the world and we can have a lot of fun. Because, move, <laughs> like damn. I'll tell you, some people just drive like, I don't know what. come up here because always there's always someone slipping that you can get in always it's a funny thing all right so go ahead leave that information and you will be able to get potentially if your comment is boss your comment is I'm getting over good lord all right, I'll catch you guys later. I'm dealing with Atlanta traffic.